This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. Until midnight tonight, in what is a, a kind of truncated portion of our program, because I had to start the whole thing up again, because, well, old Al screwed up, okay? Old Al screwed up. What can I say? Okay. Uh, let me see here. Are we going out okay? Let me just check everything here. Are we, uh, are we uh, going uh, to, uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, it looks like we're. We're out there. We're, we're going somehow. Who knows? All right. I'll have to fix this up tonight when I do it in post. You won't hear. If a lot of people are watching now the, this, this version of it, um, this is uh, a, a, a recording of uh, a show that we did after we did the interview with Larry Bubbles Brown. So you won't see the Larry Bubbles Brown interview tonight. Okay? Oh, well. And I've got my glasses I've got to clean, otherwise I can't see anything, and uh, we're, uh, we're trying to get things going here. Again tonight, we have, uh, I'm sure, uh, a big problem with the, uh, with, uh, the uh, what do you call it, the uh, 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 final four, what is that? I don't know, what is it? The final five, the final seven, the final eight, the final ten. I don't know, but last night uh, we had hardly any people calling because they were all watching the games, I suppose, I imagine. But anyway, so here we go. Anyway, uh, I'm, I'm so sorry that we had that problem tonight, but, you know, those things happen, and uh, uh, they could happen more tonight. We have no idea what the other problems are tonight. But anyway, let's bring everybody in here. Oh, somebody had to leave. Uh, uh, let me see here. We lost, uh, well, we got uh, Alan, and we've got uh, Jeff, and um, Ray was here, but Ray's now gone, so we'll just have to deal with that. Oh, man, I, I screwed with something before I went back on, and we had to, we had to stop it all. Okay? All right. Anyway, let me, here comes Ray. All righty. Uh, hello to all of you. How are you this evening? These are the, 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 the these are the people who don't give a cra don't give a crap about basketball, right? Nope. <laughs> this is more important than any basketball game. Uh, well, I don't necessarily agree with you on that one, but you know. I hmm. thought you didn't like sports. I don't. I don't, oh. no, I don't like sports. I mean, I like. No. Look, it's not that I don't like sports. They're just certain sports I like. Because I consider them, I like sports which are endeavors of uh, execution. You know what I'm saying? In other words, it isn't just that you got to be the toughest, the brawniest, uh, the uh, fastest, or whatever. You're you're really the person you're probably challenging most of all is yourself to best your record. And so I like the Olympics for that reason. You know, in the Arts. Olympic sports. What? Darts. Darts. I had a girlfriend who was into darts. She was darts crazy. So darts crazy, you would have thought she was Irish. You know? But uh, she, she would go play darts all the time. And she got, she was, oh, God, she was crazy over it. Well, you have a sports Emmy, right? I have a sports Emmy, yeah. yeah. Well, you're a sportsman. Well, you know, it's, it, I have two Emmys. And one is an individual Emmy, and the other one is a group Emmy. All right, for a bunch of us who participated in a program. So that's the sports Emmy. So that is not necessarily an Emmy for me alone. All ah. right. But the other one is. So that one I'm proud of. That one I would lay claim to. And screw the rest of you. Here comes John Larkin. We haven't seen John in a while. John, where you been? Proud of. That one I would lay claim to. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. 
through the rest of you. Uh, uh, John, you got to kill my audio. Hi. Hey, there you go. How's it going? So where you been? We haven't seen you in a while. Yeah. No, we're really just doing a lot. I've, I've been working at night. You've been working at night? Yeah, a lot, a lot, lot of um, concerts at the Warfield. Yeah. Okay. All right. Seen any good concerts lately? Uh, Sparks was good. Sparks? What? That's an old band, isn't it? Yeah, I know. I know. Goes back it, to when I was at the, the Quake. Yeah, yeah. And I'm trying They're to remember, up there. I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember what their big hit was. Uh, this town isn't big enough for the both of us. No, like no. There's another one. There's another one that was really big for them for Sparks. Uh, How many people here have heard of Sparks? See, not me. One of the most unknown bands of all time. So in, in that documentary on Netflix, there's a picture of them standing outside your studio on Ninth Street. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? What yeah, and it says, there's a sign in the background. It says, no one will be allowed into Alex's show before 6 a.m. <laughs> what what <laughs> documentary was that? It's on Netflix. It's called Sparks Brothers. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, well. I told you. I told you about a month ago about it. On Netflix called Sparks Brothers? Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, then I'll have to go look at it because anything has my name on it, I'm interested in. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm self centered, you know. Well, and that's the reason. I guess, I guess they were a guest like on that. your show back in the 80s or something. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. I guess they were. I don't remember. <laughs> you know, I, I was. I, that whole period of time kind of is a blur to me now, <laughs> you know? It's not, it's not a blur because of drugs or anything else. It just is a blur. It's a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, sometimes people say to me, and I was on your show and blah, 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 blah. I, like I met up with um, um, uh, Black. Uh, 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 oh boy. Who's the comedian? Black. Uh, uh, first name was is Lewis, Black. Lewis Black. And I said, uh, Lewis, gee, uh, good to meet you. He says, oh, well, you have before. I said, when? He said, in San Francisco on your show. I was a guest. I said, gee, I don't, I don't remember. He says, neither does anybody else, because back then I didn't have an act that anybody wanted to see. No, uh, no way. You no, had a lot of good people come no, on. No, no, no. But he said oh. that oh, you know, okay. back then, okay? Yeah. And what he, was, what he was referring to was the fact that he wasn't screaming and yelling in those days. He wasn't that, that he didn't. And once he came up with that screaming thing, he became famous. Okay, so he said at that time I wasn't that famous or that well known, but you had me on your show, and you know I want to thank you for that. So that was years later, though, that I finally met up with him and got along with him very well. I like Lewis a lot, you know. So. He's hilarious. Yeah, yep, yeah, he certainly is. Uh, John uh, Los Lobos plays at the Warfield a lot, huh? No, not too much. Um, I've seen them more at the Fillmore. I mean, the Fillmore. Sorry, yeah. Fillmore. I went and saw them at the Fillmore a couple of times recently. Yeah. 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 Um, but who else was playing there that you saw recently? Well, um, last night they had this guy named Youngblood, who's a uh, a trans singer from England, kind of a punk singer. Mm -hmm. So they had a lot of. A lot of trans, young, you know, young kids, young yeah. trans kids. Yeah. It was pretty good. Yeah, he was interesting. Um, and then there was Jason Albine or Albine played. Hmm. You know, something weird. I never get tipped at a show, you know, for showing people to their seats. Yeah. But at this Jason Albine show, two people tipped me in the, in the night. So I got $30 in tips in one night. Really? And I never, ever get tips. But it was just out of, at that show. Two people. Well, me. for people who are watching, you're 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 an usher at concerts, right? You take people, help people to their seat and find their yeah. seat and whatever, right? Right. You look at the stub, you see what the number is on it, you lead them to that seat. Uh, is it cust Should you get a tip? I mean, people don't think you give tips to those guys. Not necessarily. Yeah, it's not necessary. I don't expect one. You yeah, know? but maybe but people should tip you. But it's just weird. The same show, I get two tips, but I've never, rarely ever gotten a tip there before. Hmm. What do you think it was about his audience that uh, was so typical? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. It's just, you know, what are the odds? I don't know. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, anyway. So, uh, what? Uh, how you doing, Josh? Uh, good. Yeah. 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 What's Hello, up? Anything? What's up in your life? Anything interesting or special? Uh, nothing interesting. Just uh, normal days, I guess. Just normal days, right? Yeah. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing going on uh, out of the ordinary. Yeah. Uh, and uh, how about you, Alan? Anything? I was going to go to Las Vegas in a couple of weeks, but my uh, toe surgery is not healing as well. They removed part of a toenail because it was ingrown. And, you know, when you get older and you're fat, you know, you just don't heal so quick. So it sounds like Las Vegas is off. Eh, it'll be there. And uh, how about you, Alan? Anything? Right, Brian's there, but Brian's, got, Brian's doing a Jeff on us. Yeah, so are you. Nobody, <laughs> Alex, nobody can see you. I oh, mean, everybody oh, can see you only. I got so flummoxed on this whole thing that I, I forgot know. to do this. There yeah. we go. There's okay, the... and I, I did my work. I'll see you guys uh, Monday. Oh, you got to go? No, just joking. Oh, I'm just okay. trying to figure out what the heck's going on. Uh, turn, turn on your camera, I guess. Yeah. There oh, you okay. there you go. Brian, yeah. Hey, I'm sorry Hi. folks because I screwed up tonight and then when I came back I didn't look to see oh, it, that, yeah. that I wasn't Marcus. on. There we go. Yeah. Go Giants. Yeah. They're, lo they're losing for nothing, but it's okay. But anyway, <laughs> I think this show be better is just an audio only show anyway. So I'm glad that we were able to let you hear it that way for a while. Yeah. Uh, I uh, man, I just been screwing up tonight. I'm I'm just bothered by stuff. I got this guy's coming tomorrow to pick up all the stuff from the apartment, and there's arguments about oh, what he can geez. take and what he can't take, and uh, you know I'm just so fed up with it. I'm ready to tell him, uh, go sue us to get in. You know, uh, you know. So uh, finally, I I did. Uh, there was a rule that that anything that was um, uh, uh, you know uh, adhered to a wall like a light sconce or something like that, he couldn't take. And so he tried to charge Marjorie for two ceiling fans we have in the kitchen. And um, uh, I said afterwards, after I looked at it, the Marjorie said she'd pay $100 each for them. Uh, I said, you know, we don't have to pay for those because those are in a wall, right? And then I went back and I looked at the court proceedings and there was an argument over the ceiling fans. So I took $200 away from him and said, you can't have those, and he didn't argue about it. And then I suddenly noticed that uh, actually in the proceedings it said we would negotiate about them. So uh, uh, I told Marjorie to give him back $200. So, you know. He probably didn't even install them. The tenant before him probably no, installed No, them. no, 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 no. He wow. installed these for sure. <laughs> you know, I mean, he could take them, but then I just got to go buy two new ones and pay my super to install them. But, you know, I have to go like half a week without lights in the kitchen. So, you know, uh, I'd rather have them than not have them. But, I mean, he's just being a pain in the ass about most of this. So I, you know, and then I suddenly realized something. He owes us $4,200. It's a little thing called a security deposit. So uh, uh, I want that money back. <laughs> that chance. What? Does, doesn't your new landlord have to um, collect that? He collected uh, five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars and four cents is a security deposit. Oh wow! Well, you, you should get back the forty-two hundred bucks then. Huh? You should get back the forty-two hundred. Oh bucks. yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So, I mean, I fully expect the 4200 When the guy right? comes tomorrow to collect all the stuff, say, I need my $4,200, and then you can have your stuff. Well, here's the thing. He owes, he owes us 4200 My question is, does he owe us $4,200 plus interest? Yeah. Depends on where you're at. Around here, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 I, yeah. I, I believe so, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I, I own rental property here in the Bay Area and, and also in Oregon, but in Oregon, they, they don't do it. But in California, you have to pay interest. It's not much. It's 2 or 3%, but it, it is money. Yeah, well, I mean, it's, it's something, you know. After the show tonight, go on the Internet and see what New York City requires. 
Yeah, yeah. So you know, but anyway, so I've I've been bothered. Maybe you'll get a couple free ceiling fans. I've been bothered and preoccupied about that tonight. So that's why you just saw me for so long, and I didn't even notice that I was on. Uh, because what happens is I also look at the uh, at the Zoom panel. I don't look at the what's on the air, and I just assumed I'd gone over there or something, and I didn't. So. I see Tony yawning. I mean, that is, the coffee I sent you isn't working. What's going on? You didn't, didn't tell him. You, you, didn't, you didn't tell him it's non-caffeinated. Oh, no. You were supposed to shut up about that, Alex. Oh, <laughs> didn't you know? I just poured it into my. Uh, I poured it into my. Uh, I saved the, you know, when, you know the big things at Costco when I finish the folders, I save it. Now I poured his coffee into it. I marked it though, so I know what it is. Have yeah, but that's, but that's non-caffeinated. Is it? Yeah. Oh, I didn't try it yet. I was going to have it tomorrow when I was watching Kentucky. It'll still taste the same. Don't worry. Yeah, no, you won't be able to tell the difference. You don't think so? The I, only I, difference I, you won't be able, you won't find with it is that you won't feel it. You won't be climbing the walls. Oh, it's not my coffee rice. <laughs> ah, you see, that's what he's going well, for. Try oh. it out. There's, there's still a little caffeine in decaf. Tony, I would it. never think about doing drugs. I would do my mother's leftover drugs. I was going to throw them out. What kind of what, drug. what drugs does she have there? You know? She has the one that. What's the one that takes the edge off? She was getting like. There are a lot of them that take the edge off. Yeah, really, Valium. No, it was something else really, really small. Her gambling, Alex at night likes and she that. Gets one time I gave it to her and I was watching, it's very mild, like a sedative. And when I gave it to her one time, I was observing her and she really did get like relaxed. Is and it Librium? Say, what, did, what did she give me? I says, Mom, Dr. Rubin said it's okay to take one. A <laughs> made it sleep a little bit faster. Was it Librium? I can check. Let me see. Don't get all her drugs and bring them back. Let's yeah. see what yeah, you got might, there. Yeah, we might want some of them. <laughs> because you know they do expire. So why don't you send them over to me? Okay, he, he's gone now. You know. uh, how are you doing tonight, Jeff? Good, good, good. good. Went to see my new uh, orthopedic doctor. Oh, good. And how does yeah. he feel your orthopedes are doing? She said- uh, This is all that's left for mom. Wait, wait a minute, hold she on. We'll nothing. go through them in a second, hold on. Yes, Jeff? She says, there's nothing that I can do to help you. Mm -hmm. However, wow. that's here's the things that you can do to help yourself. And so what what did she tell you you had to do? Oh, mostly walking and exercise and stuff like that. Yeah, okay, that's nice. I need to do more of that too. I'll come over, we'll do some walks together in Connecticut. I took, my first, I took, my, I took my first walk today since I fell. Oh, uh, I yeah, and I was kind of afraid to, you know? <clears throat> But Marjorie came with me, so in case I yep. fell, she could pick me up. And uh, we, did, we did it twice. We also went out to dinner tonight. So. Oh, nice. Yeah, so it was nice. It was nice out there. It was actually a lot. Yeah, very nice day today, actually. Tell us about the drugs, Tony. Yeah, Tony, what, what do we have there? Yeah, pull one out. Uh, let's see. This was, I'm trying to pronounce it, 120 milligrams. Take one capsule by mouth daily. Dilitia? D-I-L-T-I-A? Dilodin? Dilodin? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. What does that do? Oh <laughs> boy, send that over to me. Okay. Yeah, Alex would like that. That'll help. <laughs> <laughs> Dilaudid is, is, a, is a kind of form of synthetic heroin, isn't it? Uh, if I'm not mistaken. Is it, is it yeah. called Dilaudipin? No, Dilaudipin. D R L T I A Z E M. 120 milligrams. Oh wait a minute. What is that again? D I what? D I L T I A Z E M. Dilazepin. Diazepam? No. Yeah. Oh. That's that that is that is uh Valium. Valium. Yeah, Diazepam is the generic name for Valium. Valium's the name for him. Yeah. Okay. Next drug. Okay. All right, next drug was her one of her favorites, the old low dose bay. Oh just throw that away. Okay. okay. That was because she had to take it every day. I had I had everything lined yeah, up. Yeah, right. Right. Eloquis. What? Eloquis? Eloquis is what? It's a is that a cancer drug? What is it? Well, she was she was recovering from cancer, so. Okay, so it's probably Alquis. <laughs> yeah, it was helping her. That's probably the most Oops. expensive one so far. Go ahead. Got a whole bottle. Of somebody's name on. I think Alquis. <laughs> I think is a blood thinner. Blood thinner? Is it really? Okay. I got twenty milligrams of. 
a, a Devastin, A T O R V A S T A T I N. Difaxin? Yeah. Difaxin? Yeah, I think so. A, no, Atrovastin. Oh, that, that, that's, uh, that's for, uh, it's a statin. Yeah, it's a statin. For, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's Lip, for your cholesterol. Yeah, Lipitor is the main brand. Yeah, that's what Jesus. I take. Good thing I know something about drugs. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. okay. that's, yeah. That's the most common anti-cholesterol drug. I take it. Me too. <laughs> and then she had 25 milligrams of Cardovil, uh, C-A-R-V-E-D-I-L. Blood pressure medicine. Yeah, she had a little slight high blood pressure. That didn't do her in, though. Okay. All right. All right. Next I'll one. Going. Keep going. Let's get to the Actually, stuff. that's it. I don't know what happened to the other pills. I got to check. Well, no, the no, no. I got to throw some out. No, you don't, you, don't to go. you don't have to go look for it. No. I know, how, I know how this brings out. back fond memories of your mother dropping pills. I yeah. still have a case Monday to Sunday. There's nothing in it though. <laughs> so the so the Tony, the diazepam, right before you're gonna get wired, you wanna take oh, one of those. It'll make the high a lot better. I gotta throw these, I gotta walk you down the toilet bowl. Well, no, no, but don't do coffee. that. <laughs> don't do that. Those, those, are, those, those are perfect. I won't throw them in the garbage because I'm telling some, you these Chinese listen, people, there's some, they go for the bottles. There's so some there's some out. drug addict out there who really could <laughs> use those. That's right. I gotta take one of those names off it though. I'll get arrested. <laughs> I'll tell you what happened to me today. Today we're walking down the, the street. And we're coming back to the apartment. And on the way we pass, I don't know, a store or something. And there's some guy out front, obviously not. Yeah, they usually sleep in my garden. I'm telling a story. Oh, sorry. Obviously <laughs> not, uh, not uh, the guy's not, you know, he's not too well off. He's got problems. He's uh, uh, poor, and he says something to me that really made a lot of sense. He uh -huh. said, "No, somebody have a yabahadi." And Marjorie said to me, "What did he just say?" I said, "I don't think there was a word of English in his entire sentence." You know, I think he said, "How do I get on the intersection tonight?" Well, anyway, <laughs> uh, just talk like that. Anyway, um, then, then tonight as we're going to dinner, we meet up with another guy on the street who, as we pass by him, goes, um, uh, uh, change. <laughs> and she said, what did he say? I said, well, he said one word I understood, change. I said, we should really start a, a new group, which is like... Um, Communication? Well, no, uh, articulation classes for mendicants. Right. You know, guys are out in the street begging, give them a good English skills so they can then better tell you what drug and what money they want, you know? But if they just go, now nah, they're nah, gonna nah, change, I mean, come on. He's not going to make anything. I want to know, you know, does he want me to change? Does he want change? Does he want money? What does he want? So I think we should have like a a, 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 a class for for what we call mendicants. Do you know, anybody know that term? I've known that term no. for years. No. A mendicant is a guy who begs, a person who begs. Yeah. Uh, so, you know. Anyway, that's my that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. And Brian Neary, you're fine, I'm sure. And Josh, what did you think of Biden talking to the premier today of China? Oh, I didn't hear that he did. I'm sorry. Oh, well. <laughs> and, uh, and then we don't I'm need sure to talk was, about it. You know, I'm sure it was really tough talk. You know, if you break any rules, we'll, you know, not do anything. So yeah. <laughs> not to break any rules. <laughs> if, you, if you back up Russia, we won't do anything. We'll be upset with you. Yeah, neener, neener, I think was one of the terms <laughs> he used. Uh, actually, it wasn't, it, he, what, he, uh, the, uh, the, the premier of China accused us of causing this problem in, the, in, in, uh, in Ukraine. Oh, yeah. well, really? Yeah. Yeah, but the, but the president of China has, has said that, you know, Putin's wrong by killing all these civilians. It was in the news a week or so ago. Yeah, well, he did say that nobody's winning in this. You Something know. like that, yeah. You know, I think he, he didn't want to throw Putin to the wolves because Putin's a, you know, is, a, is an associate. Yeah. 
A trading partner. A trading partner. On the other hand, he didn't want to go along with him and say this was wonderful because it clearly isn't, you know. I mean, the only person in the world who thinks it's okay is probably Rand Paul. Yeah. And every every day they say, now they're 20 miles from Kiev. Now they're nine miles from Kiev. Now they're two miles from Kiev. That's every night. It's like a countdown. And I don't know the last few nights what they've been saying. But I've been staying away from it. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I, uh, you're quite right. What, what is stopping him from bombing Kiev? Uh, who? Uh, Putin. He bombs everywhere else in the Ukraine. What's stopping him from hitting the capital? I don't yeah. know, to tell you the damn truth. I mean, it seems strange that they haven't had a big barrage of missiles going in. And I think I Kiev. think that they would do it if they felt they could then take Kiev. Yeah. But supposedly, his troops aren't doing that well. You know, those those trucks ain't moving. Well, they're, we're supplying them with missiles, and they're shooting planes, helicopters, and and missiles that are coming off the planes out of the sky from the ground. Yeah. I don't, I don't think he planned on all this. Oddly enough, it doesn't look that good, but actually, I think Ukraine is doing pretty good. I think so, too. Yeah, they are. But what's it going to take to get Putin to give up? Did you see today he had a big rally in uh, Yeah, Hungary? like he's yeah. taking get taking the Trump uh, idea, oh, yeah. you know. Yeah, it, it was basically it was a Trump style rally, you know. Yeah, so for those people who don't have a choice, they have to go to that. You you know? to well, I mean, go, look, they're, they're you know, he, he he obviously could fill that place. And the way he could fill that place is that people in Russia right now have a complete absence of any legitimate news. Yeah. They're being fed one story and one story only. And that's the story that is being spread all over, all over Russia. And they believe this to be the truth. So you so, can get that many people there who believe that Putin's doing a wonderful thing. He's doing God's work. He's going after the Nazis who have yeah, taken over, been, you know, the, uh, taken over so Ukraine. So, yeah. Yeah, some people know what's going on because there was something in business news the other day that the top five VPNs have been downloaded many more times in Russia than they ever have been. So these people are downloading VPNs, virtual private networks for you people that don't know what it is. And uh, that allows them to get to news and Facebook and stuff around Russia. Well, they can, they can probably watch this show if they want to, you know, okay. using a VPN. They can't prob probably. I think has YouTube been banned in in Russia? I don't think so. I, I think it's so. Huh? I think so. I think it has. So too. I all the all of them have been banned. I ha I seem to have read that YouTube wasn't. That it was the only one that wasn't. Facebook. It's not Twitter, been banned, but it's being it's being censored. It's being monitored. So in other words, they are um, they are allowing access to videos that they deem helpful to their cause and not allowing access to ones. So in other words, the Tucker Carlson show goes right on. Of course. On YouTube. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Him and, and oh, yeah. Hannity, they love the, they show them over there. No. Hey, I got a question, Alex, if Trump, if, if you had the opportunity to interview Trump on this show, would you do it? I suppose I would. Yeah. But yeah, I would only sure. do it if he agreed to a no-holds-barred interview and that he yeah. knew that he was advised in in, uh, in in the beginning where I stand on him yeah. because I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't like to, um, uh, you know, blindside somebody. Yeah, right, yeah. So I would want him to know where I stood and then if he still wanted to come on and he didn't mind defending himself against somebody who disagreed with him, I'd sure be happy to have him on. Well, I mean, some of the shows that he's going on now is, you know, like the, the, the what was that show, the Felk Brothers or something like that? The what? Yeah, it was, it was some some YouTube podcast called the Felk Brothers. <laughs> I mean, you know, where else can he go? Well, I don't think he would come anywhere where he knew there would be a hostile yeah. reception. Yeah. And while I wouldn't be hostile to him, I would certainly, let's see, would I call him a douchebag? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> no longer the president. Call him what you want. Ex-president douchebag. 
Yeah. And that's funny because most people don't, aren't they? Don't they still like say former president, you know, Obama? They when they talk about Trump, they just say Donald Trump. So. No, there. It's not even that. If it's if you meet up with Obama. You refer to him as Mr. President. I mean, wow. I interviewed Jimmy Carter. I referred to him as Mr. President. Yeah. yeah. Uh, because you still refer to him as Mr. President, or if it's a guy who was a governor of a state, Mr. Governor. Mm -hmm. You know, it's still Governor Schwarzenegger. You Speaking know. of governors, isn't Cuomo uh, making a comeback? Yeah, he's uh, he's got ads on oh, here in New God. York now in which he's oh. saying, you know, I, you know, I, found innocent of this and you know not found guilty and wasn't prosecuted for this and now all charges have been removed and uh, sure. uh you but ought to think about cuomo for something basically chris, chris cuomo is suing for like 125 million or something yep yep he's claiming yeah. that it's uh, the part of it is the money they owe him he mm. considers and the rest of it is what he considers damages to his reputation Wow. Is, and is Cuomo going to, if you bring Cuomo back, is he going to shut down New York again in a couple of weeks when COVID goes back up? Well, he's not going to be governor that fast. Oh, I don't know. Cool. We don't know if he's going to run for governor. We think he's going to run for uh, attorney general. Yeah, that would be nice. This is Andrew or Chris? Andrew. Andrew. Uh, Andrew. Andrew. Former governor. So Chris threw his friend Don Lemon under the bus. Really? What did he do yeah. exactly? I didn't understand what went on. He started saying that uh, there's the things that uh, so when Don Lemon had tipped off uh, who's the guy who did the fake uh, mugging the the black Oh actor? yeah. Solette or Samet or something. Cement, yeah. Jesse Solet. Jesse Smollett. Smollett. Yeah. So he tipped him off and, and told him <laughs> what was going on uh, with the cops when oh, he yeah. found out before he before Jesse Smollett knew. So who told uh, him that? Don Lemon. Don Lemon. Told Jesse Smollett. And and so Cuomo brought that to court saying, Look, look, he did he did some he did the same thing and he's No, he there. didn't do the same thing. Oh. He did worse. He did worse, yeah. Yeah, what he was doing is he was giving privilege in information to Smollett right. about the possibility of an arrest, which he could then like run out of town or do whatever he yes. wanted to do. Whereas with the case of Chris Cuomo, all he was doing was advising his brother on how to parse the charges against him. In other words, how to handle uh, right. The, right. the public on this. He got uh, screwed. Yeah, and that was all he did. And there was a difference also. Jesse Smollett is not the brother of Don Lemon, whereas right. Chris Cuomo is the brother of Andrew Cuomo. And I think maybe that's something you want to do for your brother, right? Yeah. You're, right. you're an expert on it. You want to help him. And, it was, and that wasn't the only thing. There was another thing that Don Lemon did. I don't remember what it was. That Chris told the, you know, the judge about cheated on Chris. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I would say that. I love you, brother. I would say Don Lemon should have been kicked to the curb when they found that information out. I agree. I don't know if you. I used to watch that for a couple of years, like almost every night. And Don Lemon looks like he's aged a lot just lately. Yeah. He's, he's got a lot. Of, I don't know if they're putting different makeup on him, but you see a lot of wrinkles and wrinkles down in his chin. <laughs> like, oh, weird. Well, he's tired. He has like a kid now. Yeah, well, <laughs> unlike myself, who is just in perfect well, shape. The real world. Yeah. <laughs> not, not a, not a, uh, 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 what do you call it, kid? He's gay, right? Don yeah, Lemon. but they adopted or something. Okay. Or, or somebody had the kid for him. I don't know. Who Don uh, Lemon is gay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Him and his husband. Well, so Smollett. So is Smollett. Right. 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 So that may so have been the Don brotherhood. Lemon, Don yeah. Lemon has a job still. Smith. Yeah. Well, that that yeah. I if I were uh, CNN, I would question that more than I would ever question Chris Cuomo's. But I think mm -hmm. they wanted to get rid of Chris Cuomo because also I think he was goosing some women or something at work. Yeah. <laughs> Those Cuomo brothers. Yeah. Yeah. And you see what they want to do? My brother says they want to take rename the Tappan Sea Bridge, take uh, the father's name off. Why? What does his father ever do? You know what I think, Alex? My brother thinks they have it in for him, the Democrats. They want Cuomo out. Yeah, but I mean, what, 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 what? I don't know. What, you, what, you what did his father ever do that was wrong? His father's yeah. name should be there. He's one of the best governors this state ever had. He was great. Yeah, he has nothing to do with it. It's just like they want to disgrace him. They just want Mario they, Cuomo. They, somebody's after the Cuomo. So I don't know who it is. Just about everybody. Uh, <laughs> you probably right to take a number, I guess. Yeah. The mob. Probably, you know what it is? Everybody's after the Cuomos who want their jobs. 
believe it or not. I mean, yeah. if you look at who was going after Cuomo, who was it? It was the attorney general, you know, and there was it was the governor, right, who wanted his job. So I think he's going after the attorney general post because he wants to uh, unseat that, shall we call her a bitch to be nice, uh, who... Uh, who, who threw the, tried to throw the book at him and then wasn't able to because they couldn't find sufficient evidence that he had I, done I, anything wrong. Maybe maybe he could charge her for slander. Yeah. You're talking about Andrew now. I'm talking about yeah. Andrew. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Do not yeah. mix it up with Chris. Chris yeah, is no, the, the whole TV thing, guy. The whole thing looks very, very questionable. Well, you know, what went on over <laughs> at, uh, what's been going on over at CNN lately has all been very questionable. I mean, how they got rid of... Uh, uh, what's his name? The guy was the the head of it, the head of CNN. Uh, right. Yeah, oh yeah. Uh, you know that was that was terrible. You know that was terrible. Uh, he had to leave because he didn't say he had a, his girlfriend was working with him. Come on, yeah. everybody knew his girlfriend was working with him. They've been together for the last couple of years. You yes. know, they just wanted to get rid of him. Yeah. Are you following any of this, Josh, or any of this interesting you at all? Uh, the CNN story. I mean, I knew about it. I, I didn't really, you know, I didn't really. I guess I don't say care. I mean, they. Uh, I don't know. I mean, all that cable news now is so terrible. Some of it that. Oh, it's I don't so know awful. If it really matters that they have who they have in there. You know, it doesn't really doesn't really seem to be changing. Everybody's much. reading from the teleprompter <clears throat> nowadays. Well, that, that, I was watching Al Jazeera news yesterday. It was so good. Yeah. I learned so much about what's going on. You yeah, know, this you, is you, news. You know what I watched? We're honest. You know what I watched today? Today I was watching. We watch the NBC News every night, and I hate Lester Holt. I can't stand Lester. Mm -hmm. He's like a doll. To begin with, have you noticed he's a Negro? Anyway, oh, uh, geez. <laughs> oh you're demonetized. Oh, now you're in trouble. Yeah, now you're in trouble. Uh, no, he, uh, uh, he, I just find him terrible because he, he's, he's, he's ridiculous. Okay. I agree. In that he, he, he doesn't know how to interview. All his questions are always off a teleprompter or pre fed to him. Definitely. Uh, but tonight I tune in and he's not there and who's there, but Shepard Smith, the old guy from uh, Fox, he was good. He's awesome. That guy is a journalist. He was terrific. You know, who did we just? Lester lose? Holt is a robot. Didn't he? The guy you yes. were just talking about that was a journalist. Didn't he win the Mur the Edward R. Murrow Award a number of years ago? Shepard Smith. Yeah, for journalism. I don't know if he did or he didn't. To be honest with you. <sighs> you seems so I saw Lester Holt interviewing somebody yesterday. A reporter who'd just been like in a bombing and saw all these dead people, and the reporter was practically crying. And Lester Holt had like no emotion or empathy. It was like a robot was asking him questions. Oh, well, listen, I was it watching, was... I was watching Katie Turd, uh, Tur, uh, Katie Tur, uh, and um, uh, she was interviewing some woman in, in Ukraine. And the woman had just had some terrible tragedy happen to her. And she's crying as she's telling the story. And then Katie Tur says to her, so how do you feel about this? Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, she's been crying. How do you feel about this? Do you wish the person would say, I don't know. I was watching Fox I News. Know. I guess it was the day before yesterday. And they had one of their people interviewing some lady. A guy was crying. His mother's laying in the street in Ukraine, mm -hmm. dead. And he's crying. And the Fox News reporter goes up and taps him on his shoulder and says, can we interview you? <laughs> the guy's grieving. I mean, leave the guy alone. Dead mothers laying right there in the middle of the. That's what these guys do, you know. But when she said to him, I think, I think what she said to the woman was, "So, are you feeling bad?" <laughs> you know, and she's been crying through this whole interview. I mean, these people are just. Is that a trick question? <laughs> yeah, I mean, what a stupid question. Yeah, that is a stupid one. It, it, maybe in Ukraine the guy could have the guy could have got said yeah I'm really upset and now I'm gonna kill you for asking <laughs> such a stupid question. Yeah. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. Wonder what happened to Jeff Stein? He's not coming back here. So. 
Oh, maybe, wow. maybe he doesn't know he's off. You know. Push the wrong button. That's, that's <laughs> possible. Nice. No, I'm serious, you know. Sometimes, no, sometimes. Look, look, at who, look at who didn't know he was off tonight. Oh, fuck you. I know, and I was watching it. I, did, I forgot to tell you. I was sitting here watching the YouTube. And like, then you shit. came on and you didn't tell me. I, I just didn't make the connection. I'm getting old. Fortunately, we have. Oh, the hell with you. I'm just going to put myself Santa on here. That's all I'm going to have on screen for the rest of the show. Just me. Okay. We'll go back. We'll go back to that. Let's see how the ratings go. What ratings? <laughs> Got 30 people watching. Oh, oh we wow, do 30. now. Oh, there were there were only 22 a while back. Yeah. Oh, I guess the games must be over. Okay. Nobody's watching the games. What do you mean nobody's watching the games? Are you kidding me? I I, so. I've looked at the numbers. They've been really low lately. You know, I don't know. This That's week. because the Giants are losing. Yeah, I know. I was watching that. Well, they're trying they're trying some pictures and the brick house was terrible. Oh really? I didn't practice. Yeah. 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 It's gonna be a struggle. But I still love the Giants. Yeah, well are you rooting for somebody? Tonight? Or but well the Giants are playing tonight. Have you done your Have you done your brackets? No, I don't do brackets anymore. I was rooting for USF last night. Oh, okay. San Francisco, University of San Francisco, they, and they have they have a Ukrainian center, seven foot two, and yeah, they they just got announced that they're in the tournament, and there's a big story on them that his family they got went to Latvia though, so they were they're okay, but yes, pretty dramatic for that team. So yeah. it was a good game went into overtime. Yeah. Are you watching it? You're not watching it, are you, Josh? You're not into it. NCAA, are you? And the yeah. Giants are losing. Bottom of the third. No, don't, don't, don't do yes. don't do that. Don't do that. That's against the law. What? Giving out scores. Be... Scores, yeah. really? You, you yeah. know, really? really? That's that is that is the the description of a game. Technically, oh. yeah. but it's it's on the. Okay, I don't care. I don't care. I, I, I'll follow you. No problem. Plus, Your it doesn't. Show. It won't matter <laughs> once this thing is what people are watching this thing because it will already have been over with. So they don't care. Well, they're just this. pissed that somebody might go and watch the Giants. You no. already said the the almost N word though. What? <clears throat> you did. Yeah, you I said, said Negro. That's a per when I was growing up, that was the word you said because you were nice. <laughs> you know what my grandmother used to say? The coloreds. Oh yeah, yeah. My tiny Ooh. grandfather. Hey, how about how about if I change what I said to the Cubs are winning? No. The, my grandfather used to say that the colors, and then he always used to. Oh, he used to say the darkies, and then he oh, used no. to say. Uh, no. Man, I hate this. Why do you always go out with slant eye girls? Oh, oh wow. Oh, slant eye girl. Hey, wow. not old Ray, right? That's old Italian, right? Hell yeah. Tony knows the that. It's the old Italian, just like. Hey. Yeah. And they call like my grandfather used to call Chinese guys Chinamen. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 Well, they are I did that one day uh, by accident in San yeah. Francisco. <laughs> uh, I was talking about how when I would I, every morning when I would drive to the show, I would drive at breakneck speed to get to the station on time, and I would have to go through what's the tunnel, the Montgomery Tunnel. Stockton. Stockton. Huh? Stockton Tunnel. Stockton Tunnel. Street? The Stockton oh, Tunnel. Stockton. Yeah. Right. And uh, I'd have to go through Chinatown. And one morning I came in and I said, man, it was bad out there. I was happen having to wipe Chinaman off my windshield with my windshield wiper. Uh oh, no. And somebody went, Chinaman? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. my, so my grandfather, he and I, he played semi pro ball. So we, we used to go to the games when he was older. I took him to the Giants games. And we used to take the peanut. And you break it open, and the little little seed part that's in there, you look, and it looks like a little like the the Fu Manchu. And so he used to pop those open when I was a kid and say, "Ooh, you see the little Chinaman inside the peanut." <laughs> what? Well, it's Tony every time you open a Chinese peanut, when you, you take the actual peanut and break it in half, look at the little nut that's there. You'll see the little thing coming back. Where did he live in the city? <clears throat> uh, in the city, uh, I. Forget where he lived in the city. Then he lived up in Hillsborough. And racism uh, runs yeah, rampant on the ramble Hillsborough. tonight. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, they just had a nine people murdered today in, in Hillsborough. What? what? Really? Murdered? Yeah. California? A, a home invasion robbery where the homeowner had a gun too. And wow. He killed two or three of the bad guys, but the the other guys killed him, his wife, his 
their their daughter, their the daughter's best friend, something like that. It was yeah, I didn't, so I didn't hear about that. Yeah, yeah I didn't hear about that. A guy, wow. a guy got shot in the head right on the corner from where I live oh a couple God. days ago. But it was like 2 o'clock in the morning. At least you're a good aim, John. First year that we were here on, on New Year's Eve, uh, somebody was shot at our front gate through the no head. No way, really? Yeah. In Harlem? And he lived wow. here. He lived here. <laughs> oh. But he was a kid who I think was a drug dealer. And yeah. so it was part of a, a drug thing. So there's no, there's no crime then, right? Oh, there was a lot of crime here then. But, no, I mean, if you shoot the drug dealer, there's no crime. No, that's just, uh, that's just, we call Public it. Public service. You know what we call uh, somebody who gets murdered in Harlem on a Saturday night? Saturday night. You know, that's, that was the joke. But no longer, though. This, this is a pretty, dealer, this is, it's, a, it's a public service. This is a pretty safe neighborhood. You know? Now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now. I was impressed when I saw it. It's nice. Oh, it's very nice. And but, you're right next to the park, too. Which yeah, is but great. if you come back and see this apartment house during when New Jack City was being made here. Different story. Okay. Mm. That was a different Harlem back they, then. They had to hire New York City police officers to protect the actors and everything when that was going on. Really? Yeah. Yeah. You know, Alex, when you were talking to Larry, he's going, oh, I hate this place. He's living in fucking the marina, and he's only paying 700 bucks a month. I know. What? I'm fucking living in the shithole uh and I'm paying 1400 well, Wait a minute, wait a minute. Who's paying 700 for an apartment in the marina? Larry Br Bubbles. Oh, Bubbles. Yeah, yeah but Bubbles. he's not really in the marina. He's kind of, I think, on the other side of Columbus. Oh, that's uh, pretty clear. He, you, he's yeah. right by the marina. A pretty um, nice area anyhow. Yeah, the, the marina. Yeah, but he's got place. a very small, he's got a very small studio. Except for he's been there a long time, and He's been right? there a long time. Yeah. 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 Yep, that's why. But he's paying more than me. Fucking, I'm paying fourteen hundred for a piece of shit little uh, studio in in the goddamn Tenderloin. Yeah, yeah some of those places in the Tenderloin. Shit, but how yeah. long have you been in that apartment? It's been about nine years now. Really? Nine, wow, ten so years. Weird. Yeah. Some Too of those places. Some of those places in the Tenderloin are nice. Now, uh, Josh, yeah. I never asked you. Do you do you rent where you are, or do you own your place? No, we we built and own a house. Oh, you built and own a house. Nice. Yeah. How did you, how'd you build it? They bring you the plans by saying, here's plan A, here's plan B, here's plan C. No, no, no. I mean, we just went through a, you know, a construction contractor and, you know, I can't out. imagine yeah. Josh doing the actual building. I can imagine him sitting there with a beer watching, <laughs> watching the builders build the house. It, was that, was that, a, was that fun to do or was that anguishing to do? Uh, it was pretty bad really really, really? And bad from what standpoint that everything was a problem pretty much yeah, yeah. that's too bad and every time you turned around the price kept going up right it's supposed to be less of a no, i mean the uh, price was locked in you know once the contract and everything was signed yes yeah. just, just a lot of problems yeah and, you bad. know but no it's we still live here it's i'll have it paid for pretty soon yeah how long you been there We've been here, this is, I think, the 16th year, I think. Oh, okay. So, yeah, you should be paid off pretty soon. It takes about 20 years to pay those off. Well, it was a 30-year, you know, when it was built, but uh, I refinanced a couple years ago and knocked uh, a couple years off of it, so. Yeah. Um, I think we don't, we're like less than 10 years. Yeah. We're not, we're not that far So you you paid all the, all the interest on it, now it's just pure mortgage, right? I mean, uh, probably a lot of it by now. I, you know, I don't really look uh, often, but it's uh, it's probably getting to that point for sure. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, uh, yeah. when we refinanced, I took a little money out and did some things, but I still knocked uh, multiple years off and my payment went up, but I, I didn't care. I mean, I was fine with that. So, What are houses yeah. worth in your neighborhood? I mean, it just depends. I mean... Are they all uh, custom like your house? Uh, no. I mean, you know, it's just all over this whole area. I mean, you know, it's, uh, you know, average is probably, you know, right around 200,000 or whatever, you know, 170 wow. to 200. But, you know, it just depends. I mean, you can go to 30 minutes away to, Nearfield Village Golf Club, you know, where the PGA Tour plays every year and their houses, 
in there for ten million dollars, you know. So it just depends mm -hmm. where uh, where all's at. But you know, we 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 live. This is a very like rural area where I live. Uh, so you know, it's just average homes and everything. It's not a large area, large population, or anything like that. So it's not. Uh, really expensive i mean values are are good i mean i'm sure we could sell ours and make a lot of money or whatever um but i'm just gonna wait cool. um, where is it where are you i live about 30 minutes south of columbus ohio oh okay so just in a in a just in a rural county that's mostly uh agricultural but uh the, the large city of you know columbus it it creeps closer and closer to here pretty much every year mm -hmm. uh, every day anymore you know so what used to be almost nothing you know it's just turned into a pain in the ass so i think maybe maybe when we're done here we're gonna leave because i can't I, I don't do traffic in large cities and i don't want to live around any of that i mean yeah how close can't, is can't work stand for you? you what's that how close is your work for you it takes me about 20 minutes to get in so about seven miles no it's 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 further than that but is it okay um oh yeah i would never live in that county no way yeah. no we live in the next county over but like i said it's you know columbus is you know huge and the plant that i work in is you know a, a big industrial and heavily populated area but you know, i mean you know 20 to 25 minutes uh because of the roads that i can take but you know, I mean, I don't like big areas, so yeah. When we're done here. I don't know. I'm I'm fine with like Nebraska or Kansas or something. I mean, I don't want to. Right. I can't I don't want traffic and traffic lights. I want you know, one gas station where they just sell fucking gas and not cap of fucking fucking cappuccinos or what. I mean, I just you know. <laughs> That's a, you, you got get, a problem. Get too big, man. Too many people living here. All these fucking carpet bagging city people. From <laughs> <laughs> fucking goddamn people. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. Uh, anyway, um, let me see here. What else do we have? Is there anything else in the news today? Nah, wasn't much of anything. Um, I'm just trying. Only ever to... talk about Ukraine. Yeah, pretty much. yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, and there's only so much you can talk about. I mean, it's just a sad fucking story i mean you just never get uh any COVID's relief from coming it. back what we'll be talking about covid covid's coming oh it's back. coming back okay making resurgence huh yeah they're trying to it turns out moderna uh, 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 pfizer said he want they wanted to get an authorization for a fourth shot for people 65 and over and today moderna applied for a shot for everybody and the FDA shot. will say 60 and older, and the CDC will say 61 and older. Nobody can make up their mind. Yeah, well, anyway, I mean, the point, the point of the fact is that uh, I'm sure they'll probably okay the Moderna. And as soon as they do that, I'm, I'm up the street getting my shot, you know? I would, I, I would, I would kind of wait a little. I mean, I wouldn't rush out and get it until the CDC and the FDA approve it <laughs> because both Moderna and Pfizer – it looks like they'll have the shot that covers Omicron uh, built into it, a new, that they've been talking about, the new design that will cover everything back, yeah. including the Omicron variants. And uh, if you go out and get, I, I have friends of mine that went out a week or two ago and got the, the regular shot, and if Omicron shot comes out, they got to wait six months before they can get it, otherwise it's worthless. So. Well, I would say they've already got the Omicron shot in, in the stores now. Maybe. I'm sure they replaced. It hasn't been approved by the FDA or the CDC. Oh, the Omicron hasn't been approved yet. Omicron's uh, I, almost gone. I, I, well, but it, but the, the the variant that's coming back is Omicron version two. They call it BA two. <laughs> that's the one that's coming back here. Well, it, it's 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 taken over Europe and in the UK. It's the big thing. And the UK, is, it's all the rage, is what you're saying. It was invented by Al Gore. Yeah, right. Yeah. The, the, the the that area where the where the EU is and stuff not EU, but the, but in England, 
is got about 82 percent of the population is vaccinated where we're still in the low 60s so you can imagine we're gonna if it comes back here yeah. okay we'll kill those people off too that's yeah. right they're all republicans yeah. who cares that's right that's right uh, but uh, I said, huh yeah i said the same thing <laughs> well listen the minute they they okay it i'm i'm absolutely i'm up the street i'm getting it i think i think we're all gonna do that alex i think that's a smart move i'll be on the list yeah yep. no i mean i just uh i find now you can walk, just walk into a pharmacy and they do it sure. so anyway i'm still healing i i uh i went to c pick up a cup of coffee here with coffee in it and it was killing me yeah. uh but certain positions of the hand it's fine Your and then my, 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 my face here hurts though and i think i fell on that too oh yeah but it's i didn't get see. i didn't get a mark or a black and blue mark oh, or anything okay. like that and then mm -hmm. this, this, which was a big, you know, yeah. problem here, uh, you can't see it now. And the reason you can't is I'm wearing makeup, so <laughs> to cover it. Oh. But uh, oh. <laughs> it, uh, I, I really, good man, at it. I took a plot, man. That was mm -hmm. a, that was a buster. That one, yeah. Uh, I, I really, uh, uh, I, I, I don't want that to happen again. You know. It could be worse. You know. oh, it could have been worse. Yeah. Could yeah. have been worse. Uh, well, I kept thinking about uh, what's his name, um, who who died in bed after what might have been a fall in his hotel room. Oh, Bob mm -hmm. Saget. Bob Saget, and I kept yeah. thinking about that. And you know, that sometimes you don't know for days that something has happened inside your head you or whatever. It's minor, and you have a concussion, and yeah, you yeah. bleeding on the brain, and <clears throat> you wake and you wake up dead. You know, you, you know, you wake up dead. I didn't hear you woke up when you wake dead. up dead for a start. Yeah, I gotta wake up. It kind of, it kind of worked. Well, anyway, there's oh, our theme starting to play. Another week. Another week. If you include Mondays, four shows this week. Uh, thank you very much, Alan. We appreciate it. Josh, good to see you again tonight. And uh, of course. Uh, 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 our old friend uh, 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 John Larkin, and then of course Ray, Ray with that wonderful. Uh, did you change the background? Is there a different? Yeah, there's a different. I made it nighttime. You made it nighttime. Okay. <laughs> and and uh, I guess hey, it's nighttime outside. You know, I got, I got, I got to say that uh, Tony Magno. It's always good to have you here, and Ray, uh, uh, who, uh, Brian. Oh, there you are. You were still, and I thought maybe we were frozen. Brian, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us tonight. We didn't have any special appearances tonight by certain Yeah, people. she's playing games, so. Yeah, and of course, Jeff. Wonderful talking with you tonight, too. Yeah. Uh, everybody, give yourself a big wave goodbye, and I'll give you a big wave goodbye, too. And uh, say goodnight to y'all. Okay. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. I'm sorry the show was a little short for some of you who are watching this uh, after the fact, but we had to sign off and sign back on again because I had some some problems that I had happen here. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll be back again on Monday at uh, 4 o'clock on Facebook with our pop-up show, and then we'll be back again on next Monday and uh, next Wednesday at uh, 1030 uh, Eastern time same time same station in life in the meantime stay tuned for jack bishop who is next over the same gab net and also by the way i'll see you then same time same station in life in the meantime if you see her tell her i love her good night everybody Bye bye <laughs>